Tahib on the show. Sam goes through a bit of inner strife when he appears in an ad for Qatar Air, which he didn't realize is owned by a company that's like ravaging Nigeria's natural resources and land. Mm -hmm. You also have ties to Nigeria. How did you react to that storyline? And what do you know about like where it came from in the writer's room? They came to me with the idea. And so um, like Joe, Joe Kelly, one of the lead writers, like really took point. Joe and Jason actually really took point in like touching base with me and like making sure that I was cool with anything that was happening and like asked me if I had any ideas. And like they let me know like the research that they had done because like there have been like huge disputes of like with oil companies in like certain regions in Nigeria. So it's not it's not just a story that we plucked out of thin air. Like it's something that's like actually happening. And so, um, so yeah, we just wanted to like set, shed some light on it, and like we wanted to see how Sam would respond to kind of being involved in in that somehow. And so, like Sam gets an opportunity to stand on his own two feet, to like put his you know his morals first, and he gets to like wrestle with the corporate world a little bit. And through like Ted's tutelage over the last season, like we get to see how this version of Sam, who's empowered and he feels super comfortable and feels safe in his environment, like feels brave enough to you know deal with that and take on a massive corporation and um and yeah i just i just think it's great i think it's great athlete activism can be a bit of a hot button issue i don't know why but it can be you know like you know um i don't know was it ronaldo or messi or whatever that put the that took the coke off the, the stand coke. and then it yeah, was yeah, like yeah. or people in the u.s like taking a knee during the national anthem and or yeah. lebron james being told to take a knee or to stay in his lane Shop where do you guys yeah, shut up and dribble. Where do you guys stand on the whole like sports only thing with athletes? Uh, do you think it's total bullshit, or is it a you know, is there something to be said for it? I'm a massive believer in in you know like LeBron's campaign of more than an athlete. I'm a massive believer in it. Like these, like some of these athletes are, um, you know, like are, are at the forefront of their communities, and so I feel like the fact that they use their platform to speak out on certain issues is is like is impressive it's super brave like they put a lot at risk to do it and i'm and i'm really like proud of of the athletes who like speak up and take a stand um i i feel like we all have a responsibility to do that like if you're in the public eye to like use your platform to shed light on certain issues especially if it's affecting the communities that you're a part of christo danny rojas is famous for his uh catchphrase football's life which I know people yell at you on the street and stuff like that. Uh, what does football's life mean to you? Like, what do you think that means? Football, football, and I've seen it because I've been lucky enough to be in different parts uh, of my country, different parts of the world. And sometimes when you don't speak the language very well, which has happened to me starting in the UK and then looking for opportunities, uh, football has always been the thing that has allowed me to open doors in different areas of my life. Before acting, even like trying new jobs, uh, there's always football. In my country, football is a religion, just as in the UK. And football has given me opportunities. Football has the capacity of bringing people together. And I think that's why in the world of football, uh, we have the opportunity to spread these messages that we're talking about. and. I do believe football is life. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care what our record is. It's all about believing that everything's gonna work out in the end. Exactly as it's supposed to. And isn't the idea of never give up one of them things we always talk about in sports, and shouldn't that apply to people too? It's a beautiful metaphor for many of life's journeys. The team's just a little unlucky, that's all. Back home, if a team was playing poorly, we don't call them unlucky. What do we call them, coach? New York Jets. 